Hey, Road of Forge. Michael here. I just wanted to give a quick update uh, and let everybody know that I am, in fact, not dead. Uh, <laughs> so, basically, I went through a lot of life changes recently. I got out of grad school, started a postdoc at the University of Chicago, and have been kind of scurrying like a chicken with my head cut off, trying to find new places to live up here in Chicago and just get used to a new city get a new social network built and do all the things you usually do when you have to move, and of course, move shop. Uh, in the meantime, thanks to help from Avery on the Discord, and Rob Herc, and Core, and uh, Shields Experiments, and Spark Gap, um, particularly the design of this new hammer device by Avery, uh, we have been developing a new printhead concept that uh, works at lower temperatures than the glow plug and is easier to fabricate. Basically, we found out that because the glow plug works at such high temperatures, the actual performance of the glow plug printhead is limited by reaction, basically chemical reactions between the interior of the glow plug and various flux-like alloy constituents that are part of the metal alloys we were trying to print with. I'll probably present a more detailed video on that pretty soon, but not in this short segment. Uh, basically what we've done instead is gotten a hardened steel nozzle on a Creality Spider 500C rated hot end and stuck it on the end of a tiny uh, rotary to linear actuator with a very short stroke, uh, kind of like a power hammer. And the idea is that this uh, hot end will heat up, wire will be fed through the standard hot end, probably through some kind of guide on the inside to sort of constrain the wire more closely. And then uh, the hot end will oscillate up and down and pound the material bond, the heated metal wire, into place on the substrate, on the build plate, glass, or maybe metal, and then also onto itself. So, yeah. Um, that's pretty much where we're at right now, and I just figured I would make a quick short to try and let everybody know where we were and what we were working on. We're probably still going to proceed with the belt extruder for now, but we have Avery and Rob Herc uh, working on some alternative extruder designs that might provide higher forces and better control over the fine wire than the relatively sippy but uh, very compliant belt extruder, which frankly has been working very well. Um, compared to a conventional pinch wheel, or Wade's type, like one of these. And it doesn't jam, and when it does jam, or when, when the wire get, does get stuck, the extruder doesn't make a big rat's nest. But, um, yeah, it still slips, and it makes it hard to know exactly how much material you're feeding at a time. So, especially when you're under, like, loads that are vibrating, rapidly oscillating, or uh, loads that are changing substantially in time, because there's still a connection between the semi-solid feedstock and the uh, wire that's been laid on the build plate. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll be back soon with a much more detailed video.